Hello, hello, hello. My name is Kevin Owasu Itoy. Welcome to another day, another day on my blog, Teach Yourself Test Automation. And I am teaching myself selling you WebDriver with Java. And I'm employing you to come along, test all test analysts to become more technical, learn some um, automation tools. In this case, we are learning Selenium WebDriver. I mean, Selenium WebDriver with Java, right? And I have to give a shout out to my, I've got five subscribers so far, right? So we've got Dennis, we've got Sunil, we've got Kapita, we've got Prithvi, and we've got our newest subscriber, Vikram. Thank you guys. Thank you very much for supporting the channel, okay? Today we are on day 13 and we are doing regular expression concepts for XPath and CSS Selector, right? So the regular expression concept is if you have an attribute. So there are two cases you, you would use your regular expression concepts for CSS selector. I mean, yeah, CSS selector and your expert, right? The two scenarios are, if you have your attribute and your attributes uh, characters are so long, then you want to use a subset of that attribute a, 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 a text, right? Then you use your, your uh, regular expression right and we'll see we'll see how we use a regular expression in a, in a live live um, example okay and there's another scenario another scenario is if your attribute that you're going to use if it's a dynamic if it's dynamic which means if it's alphanumeric right, it contains letters and numbers right where every time the page refreshes right that those numbers might change from that from that uh, attribute, right? So now you have to use your regular expression and just use a subset of that uh, text field, right? For your attribute text field, okay? The one that stays constant, right? You want to use the one that stays constant. So we'll walk, we'll walk through that just now, okay? Right, so what site should we use? Let's see, we've used Facebook so far. Let's use boots, right? We'll go to boots, right? We'll go to boots. Oh, this website is slow. I mean, the computer is slow. Right, so we'll click on login here, okay? We'll click on login here. Let's just click on login for now. When we're doing our live example, then we will click on login, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to enter an email, we're going to enter a password, and then we're going to click on login. Okay, so we're going to use a regular expression XPath for our email field. We're going to use a regular expression CSS selector for our password field, and then we're going to use anything for our login. Okay, <clears throat> so if we exp if we inspect um, the email field, right, to get our attributes, right. We we'll see that right so this is you know this by now right this is your html code which is highlighted in blue for this particular field right the developers have come up with those properties right to 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 design that field right so in here we've got id right so if you look at this id the id is rather long right let me copy this id and we'll copy this and put it on a ooh. Right, we'll copy that and we'll put it on a notepad. Right, so open a notepad. Right, so this is ID equals. Right, you see this ID is rather long, right? So if you want to do a regular expression, uh, say this was too long for you to use, right? So you want to use a regular expression X path. To identify, use ID as the uh, attribute to identify the email field. We have a regular expression uh, syntax for XPath, right? The syntax for regular expression in XPath, right? So if we go to my website, my blog, we have a regular expression. There we go. So Copy that, keep that there. So all that says is tag name, and we know the tag name from the 
from here as input from our HTML code, right? The tag name is input. So the tag name will be input, right? So let's write it out again. So backslash backslash, tag name is input. Open your brackets, contains. In your in your code, I mean um, in your brackets again. Iterate. The attribute is ID. ID. Comma. Open. Open your um, quotations, single quotations, and again, remember because you are you are. You know, you, you're saying this variable changes, right? The only variable that stays constant is this variable, right? So you want to copy that and use that as your regular expression expert, right? And you close those quotations and you close with that and then you close with that, right? Now, if we copy that, right? We copy that go to here and we if we f5 that's a tip right if you drop your x path I mean your regular expression x path in here and if it says one on one then your regular expression x path is correct right so that's one on one right and it's highlighted that field as well right so our regular expression x path is correct right so all this is saying is your tag name input your ID contains this subset of text right in here. The subset of text that stays constant, right? So that's the X path. Uh, let's see, regular expression for X path, right? And that's for our email field, right? Email. Right, so let's do the same for the password, right? Inspect the password, and this time we we'll use regular expression for CSS, okay? And again, we we'll use ID, okay? Let's copy the ID, copy the ID, head back to our now. This is our sim, no, this is our ID for the password field, right? ID. Now let's go back to my website and we get a syntax. Okay, the syntax for your regular expression for CSS selector. Okay, so CSS selector is slightly different, right? You see this when I right, slightly different. Okay, here we go. Right, so that is a bit simpler, right? So again. The tag name for that field was input. I mean, for the attribute for password. See, input, right? Open your brackets. And what is the attribute? The attribute is ID and it's a star, which just means anything equals in the exact it's exact value right so again we just say oh this is changing so that value is changing all we want to use is a subset of the text that stays constant right we copy that and we open open our quotation single quotations and close our single quotations and all we want to do Let's close those brackets again, right? And we'll drop this again to verify it into our console here, okay? And it says one of one, right? One of one means it successfully identified the only element or the only object on this page, this web page that has those attributes, right? So we've got our two elements there, or our two. Um, so we've got our regular expression for XPath 
and we've got our regular expression now for CSS selector, right? So CSS and that's for password, right? So let's inspect the login as well. And here we could just use ID straight away, okay? So copy that and just use ID straight away, okay, to identify this. ID equals to we use the whole ID, right? That's it. So put that in bracket. Single quotation back. <clears throat> right. So now what do we want to do? Let's get back to the original page. Let's copy this. Right. We'll copy that. Now we'll do our live example, okay? Very quickly. We'll do our live example in our uh, Eclipse, okay? So what we want to do, we want to open a new test. We want to do a new test case, right? New class. We want to name it. So we'll, we'll go for CSS XPath regular expression okay we just call it that right and then we want to take that public static void main and say finish now we've got that's it we've got our test case our shell okay our empty shell and we want to copy the two common the two common um well three now because We'll copy this over and then I'll tell you about it. Copy this over to our shell case here. So we have our three common steps to every test case, right? So that's to set your properties for your Chrome browser. I mean, that's to um, to set a drive as an object uh, and launch. That's to set the properties and launch the Chrome browser. And this is to set a drive as your object, okay? And here, we we'll send in our our website, okay? A website we want to work with. Ooh, that's going crazy, Gaga. <laughs> Let's get back and get that copy. Sorry about that. All right, that's also launched the BBC website. All we want to do now is use the regular expert expert. Uh, and the regular um, expression expert, regular expression CSS to enter email address and uh, enter email address, enter password, and click and click on login, right? On your boots to register as a well, to log into your account if you had an account, right? So let's go for it. Driver dot get right. No, driver dot sorry find find element by by dot xpath right and now we're gonna drop in our regular xpath right This is our regular XPath for the email address, which is rather long as well. <laughs> right? And we want to say, I want to take one off. I'm going to say dot. So we have one there, we have two. I'm gonna have three, right? Three. I'm gonna say dot it's rather bit long, so it's confusing, right? So we've got open brackets. We've got two. So it's two, right? So it's two. 
octagonal dot So what do you want to do? Send keys, right? So one key dot CSS selector. No. Here we go. Dot send. Might be three then. Dot send. So we go have a dot dot find find element. Go by sorry, starting again by express right open double quotations. I want to copy in our express in there, right? So Copy this, right? Copy. And that should just fall inside here nicely, right? And we say dot send send keys. Sorry about that. We are getting there. Dot send keys. Teaching myself, right? So <laughs> we we'll just say done it. Done. Done it right, and then what we want to do, we want to say driver. Now, I want to say find find element, by oops, by it's not capital by dot. I use CSS selector, right. Now I want to get our regular expression CSS selector and drop it in here. And we want to say dot send keys as well because we want to send something into the password field, right? And say at last, done it at last, right? And then what we want to do is we want to click on the login button, right? So we got driver dot. Sorry, this is a bit long. Driver dot find find element find element by. What did we do last time? I think we used ID, right? Use ID. Now we go over to our thing here and get our ID. Our notepad. Remember, we already copied this down here, right? And drop the ID in here. And now it's dot click, right? So with any lock. When you run this, so we click run as Java application, okay, right? So hopefully no worries this because we've already checked that our regular expression XPath, our regular expression CSS selector, and our ID is working, right? So hopefully there should be no issues here. If there's any issues, then we'll debug it, right? It's just taking some time. This is running that long, but we are getting there, okay? We are getting there. It is a complex thing to talk about, so that's why this video is a bit long. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't help that your computer is really slow, right? Guess what? Guess what? We never clicked on, we never wrote so to click on the login. So it will run here, 
and doesn't go anywhere. So we want to inspect that, right? So close this. What you want to add is, in, is another another step. Sorry about that. So put the boots. See, you learn as you go along, right? You go to boots. <laughs> Come on. What you want to do is you want to click on this, right? So you want to expect inspect that, and that's a, a link text, okay? So we'll be clicking by link text. So the link text is come on inspect. Link text is login register so copy copy that come up with that so what we want to do is after launching we want to click on that on that link right so that we go to the next page and on the next page that's when we do the rest of what we've just done right so driver dot find element by dot link text okay and then double quotations enter that in there right dot click okay so now when we run that run us java application hopefully this time no issues <laughs> sorry about that Right, let's open boots this time. Should click on that link. I think it has clicked. We're waiting for it to get refreshed. That's it, it's clicked. It's a bit slow, sorry about that. Now we're on this page, we should enter. We should enter some characters in there. Done it at last. Click on login. Did we manage to click on login? Yes? No? Right, let's go and rectify that. Okay, let's go rectify that. So come up with that. So we are identifying by, oh, that's why. Because we have an extra quotation mark in there, right? Sorry about that. Click on this, run it again. Oh, 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 oh. Something's not right. Right, let's copy our let's copy our and write it up again, okay? So driver dot find elements by dot id uh, double quotations drop our guys in there and then say dot click okay and that should be us run job application Hit OK. <laughs> this time, finger crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay. It's a bit quicker this time. Mm -hmm. Very slow. Very slow indeed. Click on that. Click on login and register. Come on, <laughs> right, it's clicked. Enter the random text, I think it's done it, but it's done I, <laughs> or do I? 
and then enter password and he has clicked it has clicked hooray so we are on the next page okay so that's it we have used our regular expression css selector regular expression x path right that's how you do it two occasions when you use them is when your attribute is too long and you want just you just want to use a subset of that attribute okay attribute text okay and then the other one if, if your attribute is uh, is dynamic so it contains letters and numbers and every time the page is refreshed that attribute changes right so that's two two scenarios you want to use regular expressions okay for xpath or css thank you very much for watching this sorry about the long video don't forget to score subscribe if you found this video helpful okay thank you very much see you later bye